I'm going to show you how to do a playback and search your video in Smart Viewer and then do a backup or export. We're going to start in Smart Viewer by going to the search screen on the top right. I've already connected to my group. If you haven't, select your group from the drop down and click connect. You'll see a listing of your recorders. Select your recorder and it will then fill in the calendar and you'll see the days are blue that have recorded video. Select a day in your calendar and then you can select which cameras you want at the bottom of the screen. Put a check next to each one that you want to view. You can view up to 16 cameras from one recorder at a time. You'll then see your timeline here at the bottom of the screen. You can click anywhere in the timeline. We can zoom in or out and then you can use the VCR playback controls here to start playback. Once you've got your video playing back, you can be able to just move around wherever you want in the timeline. You can use the go to date over here to type in a specific time and date. So I wanted to go to the top of the hour. We could put that in here. Hit go and my cameras will jump synced to that time. There we go. You can use the next record button to jump to the next motion or analytic event that there is. So if we jump to the next record, you'll see it jumps to that blue over there. Hit jump, next record, and it jumps to the next time that that event happened. You also have frame by frame when you're in a paused video. And when you're in playback, we have fast forward and you can go faster or slower. There also is an overlapping option. If you had the time of the recorder change for some reason, for example, daylight savings time or the clock change, you would select the overlapping data option. So if you cannot find the video you're looking for, choose that. You'll see here my clock changed for some reason and I have a couple minutes of video on that overlap there. You can double click a camera to go full screen. You can double click to go back. You can choose your display patterns at the bottom. One, four, nine, and 16 are the main patterns we can view. We have digital zoom. So we can zoom in on the image. We can then adjust things like brightness and contrast at the bottom of the screen over here, turn the on-screen display overlay on or off as well. Once you've done your playback and your investigation, you found where the video that you want to back up is, all you need to do is hit the backup icon here. And then you can select which one or more cameras you want to back up. And then you put in the time period that you want to back up. Typically, you want to do at least a couple minutes. You don't want to do a couple seconds clip. Typically, you want to back up in the SEC format. That's our own internal file format, so the file can't be tampered with, and it has built-in watermarking. You have an optional password protection you can use here, so someone can't access the video without typing in the password. And there's an option for a multi-channel backup as well, so you can play back multiple cameras at once. When you're ready, Hit the start button and it will go.